Greetings and welcome to We Need to Talk About Sandy Hook, debunked by me, C.W. Way. One man's opinion here, and I get the feeling that we need to get this out of the way right now. First, this movie is nearly three hours long, and it's mostly what can be termed only as conspiracy theorist porn. Fluff for those predisposed to purchasing aluminum vitamins from Alex Jones. The film is highly speculative, based on machinations and leaps of logic by mostly rank amateurs with little or no real-world experience to even claim. All the video claims, This documentary is not meant to focus on speculation. But during nearly every segment, this is what you really hear. But that's just speculation. This isn't evidence of anything conclusive at this point. We can postulate. We stand firmly that the information we've provided is accurate. Alright, next up, the dash cams. Hey, this is Sherry. I just have to mention this. Here's the official police report as things happened. And a trooper video of over four hours doesn't show any children evacuating the school. Well, I found the timeline of when they did evacuate the school of all the kids. All right, 9.57, this McGeever runs with whoever across the parking lot towards the Sandy Hook firehouse. 9.58, Keene arrives on the scene and assists with the evacuation of the students and teachers from Sandy Hook Elementary School to the firehouse. They started evacuating the school from the official time at 9.58. All right, so let's uh, see them evacuating the school. Here is that trooper, that four-hour trooper vehicle. You can see it is parked on one side of the parking lot, and it has the view all the way over. It has the time. Overstating the view just a little, but we're not going to split hairs. The first thing that we should be seeing is at 9.57.40, runs with blank across the parking lot. Okay, let's see it. What are we supposed to see at 9.57.40? We're supposed to see a running across the parking lot. Oh, content redacted. So maybe that's when they ran across the parking lot. Now, within a few seconds, they're supposed to start evacuating the school. Now remember, this trooper is parked all the way on one side of the parking lot and views the parking lot the whole time. Any moment now, we should see either many, many, many minutes of content redacted, or we should see... And it is well known that they redacted the children in the evacuation. Teachers blank and student run across parking lot with a detective. Okay, so at 10 o'clock and 45 seconds... Okay, let's uh, keep going here. Actually, let's stop right here. Let's talk about the report. We're talking about a few documents here. This is dash cam 55705, and there is the matching timeline in the report called also report 55705. The times in that document exactly match the dash cam times. Now, the main thing the hoaxers are not understanding is that the times in these dash cams are user set, and they're off by just a little bit. This is documented in report 179599. And they go through each of the shown dash cams and they tell you how much they're off by. Needed the, the timeline to reflect the actual time. The dash cam we're looking at in this view is Davis's. And the report documents that that camera is off by 1 minute and 21 seconds, it reads. Therefore, 1 minute and 21 seconds needs to be added to the times reported. Okay, so you've got to add 1 minute and 21 seconds to the dash cam time to get it to be the actual time. Um, at 10.01 starts helping with the evacuation of the students and the teachers. Content redacted. Now, this should last quite a few minutes if they're getting the kids across. I mean, there's a lot of kids to get across. Remember that one picture of FBI agent?
I just want to point out that everyone who's looked into this closely knows that that's Connecticut State Trooper Detective Rachel Van Ness. It's not an FBI agent. And for the record, I did get Lieutenant Vance to affirm that, so I have this. This just speaks to lazy and inept research. We're taken to the Sandy Hook Firehouse at 10.03. Leading a group of young kids out the front at 10.03. Let's go back to 10.03, shall we? There's 10.03. Let's see. There's 10.03.06. Let's watch this. Video does not match the story. Has the hard life of being a preschooler got you down? Uh, Is it really hard to learn your ABCs? Yes. Well, I've got the thing for you. Introducing the thinking cap. This revolutionary new hat is a brain in a hat. Never struggle to learn your ABCs again. The thinking cap will do it for you. Thank you, thinking cap. So with the 1 minute and 21 discrepancy, that equals about 10.02 on the video. And there we go. So time matches. There's the redaction. Thank you, thinking cat. Children are escorted from the front of Sandy Hook. Another large group coming out. Right. This one, she simply misread it. She's reading the wrong. It says right there, it's talking about McGeever's dash cam, and we're talking about Davis's dash cam. So she's off in left field here. At 10.12 is when they bring another group of children out to the firehouse, out from the gym area. And we're not seeing it. I'm not seeing the content redacted either. All right, so we try it again. We take away the 121. We get 10, 10, 57 on the clock. And just as expected, where the victims are, it's redacted. Thank you, thinking cat. In other words, you know what this shows? This shows the official report does not match the video. No, what, what this really shows is that you did not do diligent research, and you just had a knee-jerk reaction to the timeline, and the answers are there. This dash cam is off by a minute and 21 seconds, and that's you just got to do a little bit of simple math, and you'll be able to figure this one out. <laughs>